Hey everyone, I'm in Elden Ring here. I'm going to show you how to get the Blasphemous Blade. So this is going to require you to get to Volcano Manor and then also get to Prison Town Church, which is part of Volcano Manor, uh, which is here. Uh, so I'll show that in a separate video. And then work your way through Prison Town Church until you get to the Temple of Igle. Before you can unlock the Sight of Grace, you need to beat the Godskin Noble, who's quite a tough boss. My advice to you is to go to Mogwin Palace and level up a good one before you take on the Godskin Noble. Uh, and then you'll find that fight much easier and make sure you've got a decent weapon to take them on. Now the Blasphemous Blade suits a faith-based character, so if you're a confessor or a prophet, it's pretty awesome. It also requires a good amount of faith to use it and strength and dexterity. Um, so it's quite an unusual combination, but its skill move is absolutely devastating to most bosses. Uh, it does a lot of fire damage, and I personally think it's the best weapon in the game. Um, it made mince me out of every boss that I put it up against, including uh, the El uh, sorry the um, Elden Beast and Radagon. Um, so I highly recommend it. Um, and with uh, Elden Ring, if you're struggling against most enemies, leveling up will solve a lot of your problems, as will a decent weapon, because as you level up, that scaling is going to help. Now, amusingly, I just died here <laughs> doing this run, just trying to talk about a way to get through the lava without diving and the big horrible beastie thing over here caught, caught me and I didn't actually have much health for some reason, I don't know what I did um, but they chomped on my health and there's my runes so I'll just grab those again but anyway if you face towards the camera and then hit the skip, uh, oh sorry the dodge button um, you'll sort of jump backwards like this so somebody gave me this tip on another video I did showing uh, how to get to somewhere else going to this route uh, but that works rather well uh, so let's just whack this. I don't know what this is. Oh, a Somber 5. There you go. There's a little added bonus for going to get the Blasphemous Blade. Um, so we'll go this way. And then through here. And then we've got a little bit of a run to get to Rykard, but it's not too bad. You can avoid all the enemies on the way, which is what I'm going to do here for you. Um, just so you can see the route nice and fast. So we're not too far from it now. So these little dudes, they're not too bad, um, but this one here with a whip can hurt you rather nastily. I've just seen my roll is rather pants, so I'm going to have to have a little look at that in a minute um, before we take on Rykard. I'm not sure what I've got in my inventory that's so heavy. We'll open this door. And we're just going to run up here. If you come back on yourself, um, there's a, a key with, uh, sorry, a door with two stone sword keys that I show in a separate video, something useful there, that's worth having a little look at. Um, it's to get the Somber Smithing Stone 7 that's up on the platform. But anyway, this portal takes us to where we want to be. There's a Sight of Grace here that you can touch and rest, and I'll just have a little look why my rolling is, ah, oh, it's because I was messing around with the, that bow, which I don't need here. All right, so you can see this particular character is a whopping level 179, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I've got Mimic Tear Ashes, which is my top tip for this as well. Um, I've got a, a blade here, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use something else that we get in here. So we'll just rest at the Sight of Grace and get ready for this. Um, and I'll show you the very critical thing for this. The trouble with Rykard is they are huge and they have a lot of fire damage and there's something you can get right at the start which I mistakenly thought was a summoning portal but it's not, it's this. This is absolutely awesome for this battle. So what we've got is called the Serpent Hunter. So if we have a little look in our equipment and we um, put this on, there it is there. Oh no, that's not it. Duh! Where is the Serpent Hunter? There it is. This is a great spear and it has some fearsome moves. So what we're gonna do is just put the Mimic Tear on and then we've got this Serpent Hunter. I'll just uh, heal myself as well. And we're gonna go and give this dude a good slap. So um, you'll run forward, you'll get a nice little cutscene. It's gonna come out here and look at this. So that was a uh, right button or oh, one that would be on the PlayStation. So here's the skill move. <laughs> so this might take you a couple of moves to do. You can see we got hit quite hard there. Um, this is also a two-stage fight, so if you want to take your time with it. You can also sort of let the Mimic Tear take... Wow! Take the bulk of the damage. 
make sure you've got plenty of um, healing potions and stuff. But then, while the Mimic tier is getting hit, just use your skill move to just annoy the heck out of this thing. So, just charge this, and you can see the damage this does. So I'm holding down the left trigger, which would be L2 on the PlayStation, and the Serpent is getting quite annoyed. Uh, so we'll just go forwards again. Hey, stop hitting me. So that's the right trigger or R2, which again is a rather fearsome move. But that, this one, having the distance skill move, is pretty cool as well. And you can see we can really hammer them from a distance with it. Um, so this makes life nice and easy. We're not done yet, so charge up a little bit, heal up. So you then get the second stage where um, Rykar gets rather annoyed. Um, and uh, I'll skip that because we don't really need to know that in here. No, I don't want to send the spirit back. So say, same process, just keep on rocking. You need to be a reasonable, uh, within a reasonable distance to do some damage. But look at that, 6,000 damage. Whoa, 13,000 damage. As long as you've got that target on, your sort of skill move should go where it needs to. And if you run out of skill, you can just do some swipes like this. Look at the damage. Just keep an eye on your health and stuff. There we go. The right card is done. Uh, and then you'll get right card's great rune. Remembrance of the Blasphemous. So. Yeah. So when you've got that remembrance, you can claim the Blasphemous Blade, uh, which we will now go and do. So to do that, we go to the round table hold which you're probably used to doing this with other remembrances. Um, and then when you're here, if you go and see the finger reader, I'm pretty late in the game here, so she looks a bit ill. <laughs> Receive the power, and there you go. That's the Blasphemous Blade. Or well, you can also have Rykard's Rancor. So you can see the Blasphemous Blade has an unusual sort of combination of stuff. Strength 22, Dexterity 15, Faith 21. Uh, but it is a pretty awesome weapon. What I will do is swap to another character now, just so you can see that in action, but that's where we would claim it, just there. So this is the Blasphemous Blade. So we've got the swoosh there. If I just turn on that lantern, just so you can see a bit better the blade. There you go. Looks pretty cool. Um, but it's got this rather nice skill move, which you just, you don't have to target anything, actually. You can just point where you want it to go. Hold down left trigger or L2 and it sends out this big old fire spell. Now this is gonna be more damaging if you are a faith-based person. Um, so you really need that to get that skill move going nicely because that scales with faith. Um, but personally, I think incantation or faith-based characters are absolutely awesome. Uh, and that, ooh, that was nasty. Uh, and that um, worked really well throughout the whole game for me once I got that sword just makes mince meat out of so many things. Um, the downside I suppose is it's um, not a wide area of effect. It goes long but it's not wide. Uh, so you know sometimes and it it does chomp through a reasonable bit of um, FP to use it. But the normal move like you can see is still pretty fearsome as well. Um, but really in my opinion, the only sword that beats it is the one that you get when you complete the game, which has the wide area effect. And that's it, my friends. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome, and I'll see you again in another video. Thanks so much for watching.